was your goal in having the children repair Sohalanthropus? I just answered their questions. I had no idea they would actually try to fix it. I mean, can you imagine a child piloting it? Oh, sure. Easily. It wouldn't work. Well, I bet it's just like riding a bike. I said it didn't work. It... Who did you try? I, I didn't. Did you put your son in it? Uh, we never did that. His name was, uh, Hal, wasn't it? I, I thought you said you never saw his face. But you made him pilot Sahalanthropus. You used him in your experiments. He wanted to get in. <sighs> it was such a short time we had. So he was with you. We were happy. You're still happy now. Changing your lies to suit the listener and getting by slipping through the cracks. Building layer upon layer of convenient stories until nothing means anything to you anymore. You're happy all the time because you don't even notice you're doing it. Think hard. Who are you really? You're not a victim and you're not the silent majority. You're a perpetrator and a petty hypocrite. The real world doesn't make you suffer. It's the other way around. Well, Doctor, I have the report on the incident at the quarantine facility. Assuming the vocal cord parasite evolved, I'm sorry, underwent a mutation. The only plausible explanations are exposure to some high concentration mutagen or radiation. Now, as you know, some of the staff at the quarantine facility were infected with the parasites. The Wolbachia prevented them from copulating, but the parasites themselves can't be removed from their host's vocal cords. Once you're infected with Skullface's parting gift, you're stuck with it. The researchers regularly used X-ray equipment to monitor the parasites in their throats. No problem there, they kept a close eye on the radiation doses. But that equipment didn't just give off X-rays. It was also emitting beta rays. Even though that's unnecessary for the scans. See, beta rays have far worse effects on DNA than X-rays. Meaning the only logical conclusion is that someone added in a beta ray emitter to trigger a mutation. Those beta rays leaked out from inside the equipment. Because the emitter was retrofitted, the shielding was inadequate. And the person who ordered and inspected the equipment was you, Doctor. That makes you the only person with the opportunity to install that emitter. So now you're saying I sabotage medical equipment for some wild plan to make the vocal cord parasite kill everyone? Or maybe you thought it'd reveal a way to treat the parasite without using the Wolbachia. And with that much to barter, I suppose some people would welcome even a pathetic cur like you. Just stop it! You'd have no shortage of buyers, but most would be happy with just the parasite. You wouldn't need to offer anything else. However, if that buyer already knew about the parasite, they'd also know that by itself, it's no longer the ultimate bargaining chip it once was. To sell to that buyer, you need to throw in a bonus, a way to one-up it. There's only one buyer who'd be after that. <laughs> Emmerich, we record all communications on Mother Base. That includes radio transmissions to and from homemade devices. You've been in frequent contact with people in America. A private biotech company. A client of which is DARPA. And they are connected to Cypher. You made a deal with Cypher. You offered them a new parasite in exchange for your safety. This is the only place in the world where the vocal cord parasite still exists. And you used it as a testing ground, tried to resurrect their bioweapon. But your plan to obtain the parasite has failed. Your bullshit ends now. And don't think you're leaving here alive. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Just what do you plan to do? Present the charges against you and render an appropriate punishment. You're gonna put me on trial? <laughs> Call it what you like. What's the meaning of this? Out of here. All of you. 
Back to your posts. No, hang on. Huey has killed their comrades and interfered with their lives. They've had all they can take. Go! Kill that son of a bitch! Kill her! Kill her! Stop! This is insane! You have no evidence whatsoever. You say you're an army free from government. You talk big about being a nation unto yourselves. But, but from the outside, you're just thugs, rebels, a militia, you terrorists, an unhinged threat to society. You're nothing but a, a bunch of psychopaths. You are. So you're not with us? N no, I, I didn't. I thought we were on the same side. That's too bad. I, I didn't mean. <clears throat> Men, you will have justice. But our organization, the boss's organization, is built on order and reason. There will be no lynch mob. So stand down for today. We will gather all the evidence of this man's crimes. And then he will be tried. Dismissed. What do you think you're doing? Go ahead and execute me. It'll be murder in the eyes of the world. You've lost your minds. Don't you get it? You're seeing phantoms. Just look at that dog. No. You named him D-Dog, but it's obvious anyone could see that's a wolf. Because you're all a bunch of wild dogs. You wanted to believe he was too. To feel some connection. To fight your loneliness. You wanted something to cling to. To prove you deserve to be alive. You wanted to forget the death. Your sins. So you'd cling on to dogs. Or... or Wolves or even Big Boss. The boss is the same, isn't he? Every one of you is alone. That's why you suspect your own. I know. Because I do the same. I'm one of you too. Alone. Open your eyes! What you're doing is murder, plain and simple. All you ever create is war. War and violence can never lead to peace. <laughs>